Hello world, welcome to Iron Sharpens Iron. I'm Andre Ford, an aspiring sage, and today's talk is about sleep. Let's get to work. Before we get to the good stuff, we're going to start on the wrong side of the bed. It's sufficient sleep. First off, make sure you're getting an optimal amount of sleep or suffer the negative consequences. Lack of adequate sleep affects several aspects of your being. I'm talking self-development, cell development, self-tolerance, willpower, immunity, and just overall health. When you're deficient in sleep, it starts to increase your chances of anxiety. You start worrying about things that have yet to come. And being sleepy amplifies these effects from mental to a physiological being. Sleep deprivation leads to difficulty remembering, recalling, and processing new information because you don't allow your brain enough time to consolidate the information from short term to long term. If you're not getting enough sleep, you start making poor decisions. This leads to an unhealthy lifestyle and poor and unsafe living conditions for yourself. If you struggle with discipline, willpower, or cravings, you might want to check to see if you're getting the adequate amount of sleep before you start changing anything else in your life. Without proper sleep, your body releases a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol weakens your immune system and causes unhealthy weight gain. Your body will not allow you to skip out on sleep. Getting sleep here and there causes a tab, and your body will eventually call your tab. When your body calls your tab, you will pay for it with interest. Your body will get the recommended amount of sleep that it needs, just without your permission. Next, slow down on the alcohol. Yes, it does help you fall asleep quicker, but it interferes with sleep rhythms, your oxygen intake, and you struggle with consolidating new memories. That's probably why you can't remember doing what you did last night because you drank too much. One of the worst truths about lack of sleep is the increase in health risks. It increases stroke, breast cancer, heart attack, and diabetes. Now that we got the bad stuff out of the way, let's get to the juicy stuff. The importance of sleep is apparent. Getting good rest recharges your batteries and it gives you a break from real life. But there is much more going on in your sleep than you realize. Sleep clears the mind. It is a well-designed and necessary activity. It restores nutrients and oxygen throughout the body for optimal function. If you have brain fog, it most likely stems from lack of sleep. Since there are no lymphatic vessels in the brain, the only process to clear the brain out is where it's flooded with cerebral spinal fluid. This only happens during sleep. When this process happens, the spaces in your brain become enlarged allowing the fluid to flow freely through the brain and through the skull. This clears out all of the waste products in your brain. Think of this process like your windshield. Over a period of time, it gets dirty, so you have to clean it. Well, the CSF is the soap, and your sleep is the windshield wipers. You need both processes to clean the windshield, to clean your brain. Without these processes, you're more likely to end up with Alzheimer's. Now, since we sleep about one-third of our lives, I consolidated some tips on how to get the best sleep possible. Number one is exercise. Exercise increases your body temperature, and when it drops, it becomes very comfortable. This allows you to rest more restfully and stress-free. Number two, get some sun. Sunlight exposure causes the production of melatonin, which allows you to have a more effective sleep. Number three, decrease the screen time. The blue light that omits from our devices causes our sleep-wake cycle to go crazy and it doesn't make us want to go to sleep. Number four, eating too late. Try to eat two and a half hours before bedtime. This allows for undisruptive sleep. And finally, number five, read a book. This hits on two major activities, learning and falling asleep. Studies show that reading over material before you go to sleep increases your chances dramatically on memorizing the material. This is kind of like a cheat code for learning stuff. Read before you go to sleep. And now for a short assignment. Set an alarm for about 10, 15 minutes to take a nap. After your nap, see how you feel throughout the day. Try not to hit the snooze after your 10 to 15 minutes. That may ruin your day. And there we go, people. My video on sleep. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel to get more information. Or follow me on Facebook or Instagram at The Promise or Iron Sharpens Iron. Thanks again for watching.